Sirush Donoyan and her six children are the tenants of this hut, located at the far end of Gyumri. The family has lived here for the past 12 years. Their landlord has long sought to evict them. He kept telling us he wanted to sell the place before it had completely crumbled. He said he needed to sell it while he could. About a month ago he asked us to leave, because he couldn't wait any longer, he said. One of Mrs. Donoyan's four sons, Vartan, has been sick ever since he was born, as a result of a neonatal stroke. Vartan can neither speak nor walk, but his mental capacity is totally normal. He understands everything and can answer our questions. He moves around the house by crawling. Sirush Donoyan has no hope that she'll ever be able to buy a house. In fact, she's certain that soon she and her six children will become homeless. Eight years ago, her husband went to Russia for work. The family hasn't heard from him since. Their monthly income is barely enough for scraping by. I earn $115 a month. We also get $85 in government assistance and some aid for Vartan. What we receive for Vartan is only enough to buy his diapers. He can't do without diapers. As for the rest of the money, I spend it on electricity, water, and food. There are no amenities here, and there are lots of rats, which scare me to death. The whole place is infested with worms and insects like earwigs. All I wish for is a new home, so that my mother won't suffer so much. Mrs. Donoyan's oldest son has just returned from military service. He hasn't found work yet. As for her oldest daughter, who works as a designer, she doesn't make enough money to help support the family. I don't believe in miracles. I don't think they happen. But I'm still hopeful. Yesterday, when we were talking to you, you said Vartan loves cars. Vartan likes computers, but he doesn't have one. Definitely, though, he's crazy about cars. Does he like cars like this one? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I think he liked it. See if it opens. Go ahead, open it. Open the other one too. What's that? Take them out. Can you do it? Well, these are the keys to your new apartment. Thank you so much. Sit, sit. The Armenian-American benefactors wish to speak to Sirush Donoyan personally. Do you remember? I came to meet you a few months ago. Afterwards, I told my wife and family about your situation, and we decided to give your family a present. We wish you great health in your new home. May you all enjoy it together. Thank you very much. How do you feel? I'm moved beyond words. Did you expect it? Oh, no. Well, we lied to you a bit, but for a good thing. Finally, we'll have a nice home. Let me say that your new apartment is fully furnished and has all the appliances you need. It also comes with a bathroom and hot water. <laughs> At last, our hellish life is over. Those rats, those horrible conditions. At last we have a bright, furnished home. I hope those awful problems are behind us for good, and my children and I can start a new life. I'm also glad my son Armen completed his military service and returned home. Back in our hut, I didn't believe in miracles, considering how we used to live. But now that we're here, in our new home, with all its amenities and comforts, I've actually started to believe in miracles. There are still numerous families in Gumri waiting for a miracle. 
but the resources to end their plight remain limited. For the moment, housing assistance priority is being given to only the most vulnerable. Priority is also being given to families of soldiers killed in the war, as well as soldiers and officers who are currently serving in the Armenian army and their families. Vartan Partamian, the director of the Hayastan All Armenian Funds Projects and External Relations Department, says that although people are more familiar with his organization's large-scale development projects, such as schools, highways, and water networks, housing assistance to homeless families in Gumudi is no less important. In this instance, there are only six beneficiaries, but we believe that changing even a single life is equal to building a school or providing assistance to an entire village. This year, we plan on providing apartments to between 15 and 20 more families. The Hayastan All Armenian Fund's Gumri Housing Project was launched in 2015. The Botoyans are the 29th family to receive an apartment through the support of the organization.